Hello, folks. How are you doing this afternoon? Let's see if I can do this video with Jimbo in my lap. Let's see. Uh, one of the videos, or one of the questions I most often get at real estate meetups is, you know, help. I need some help getting my significant other on board, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. Maybe it's kids. You know, it's someone in this relationship that, hey, I'm passionate about real estate investing, but my significant other isn't. So I've created, I've had that question well over a hundred times. So what I thought I would do is put together a presentation. So now I can just forward people this link and say, watch this video. So let's talk about how I would tackle that problem or that question, I guess. So again, it's, you know, how do I get my significant other on board? We will go kind of step by step. Uh, when I think about this, there's a lot of things that go through my mind, but the first thing is you need to listen. Uh, again, I've been doing this 20 years. I remember hearing this before the bubble. I remember hearing a lot, a lot after the bubble. Um, and I think it's going to be a while, right? Real estate had a depression. Uh, millions and hundreds, if not billions of dollars were lost. Families were destroyed. Bankruptcies, foreclosures, short sale. Lots of people have significant financial scars from the 2008 Great Recession. So the first thing I would tell anybody is really, frankly, shut up and listen. You have to hear their concerns. Is their concerns related to the Great Recession? Are there concerns related to the fact that maybe they don't think you're committed, you're bouncing around all these other ideas? You know, is it, you know, just what is it? Are they afraid of being a landlord? Are they afraid of out of town? What is it? So again, the number one thing, if you're passionate, you have the energy is, I think you need to check yourself and you need to just shut up and listen and understand. Ask inquisitive questions. Stop pushing. Again, number two, kind of on the front of listen is don't push. Don't up your frequency. How many of you have come into a conversation about real estate investing and all you do is get louder or you start to repeat yourself? Trust me, that person, that significant other, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, they heard you the first time. And what is happening by you upping the volume or the frequency, you're showing that you're not listening. You're showing that you think you can bully them. And trust me, you don't want to bully them. This is probably a great point for me to stop and remind you. If you want to really talk about, you know, a husband, wife tackling this journey, One Rental at a Time is a great book. I've had people tell me they've bought two copies, one for them, one for their significant other, and they've made it a goal of reading it together. That's a great idea because in this book, you will hear about Olivia was my wife. You'll hear about critical points where she saved our business and allowed it to go forward. I would not be here today talking to you, would not have written this book. I would still be traveling for my day job on airplanes, which I hate without Olivia. So if you need help, you want to see how a real relationship works, how both sides feed each other, go get the book. It's on Amazon or Audible. So make sure you do that. Number three, you know, if we're at this stage and they're still not getting it, they're still apprehensive, it's okay. Because you as a real estate investor, you still have a job to do. And you could use this time to get better at your craft. And then over time, while getting better at your craft, you'll be able to share what you're learning. I want to be very clear. What I'm talking about here is learning your market studying it every day, like I tell my students, 10, 20 minutes a day. You're not sacrificing hours. You're not sacrificing weekends. You're giving little slivers of consistent time. That's what my course is about. That's what I teach. And by doing that, you'll get a little bit better every day. You're not writing offers. You're not committing capital. You're not going against your significant other just because, right? You're, that's not where we are at but you are learning your market, you are getting better, and you are going to be better off and help educate your significant other. 
you need to show your work. One of the things, if you're taking my course, you are creating an Excel spreadsheet and you're updating it every day. What you need to be doing maybe once a week is going to your significant other and show them that you are getting better. If you can show them week after week, you're consistent, you're getting better. I promise you, they will get behind you. They will be asking questions. They will go visit properties with you and they will get more comfortable. If you listen, if you didn't push, if you're doing your homework, if you're showing your work, you are going in the right direction. You are respecting their concerns and you are getting better because you're doing what I outline in my course and my students are doing every day. And finally, this is the, this is the home run. After 60 days or 70 days or however long it takes, I want you to start showing your significant other the great deals. You will now show them that you've looked at hundreds of properties and you're going to go, honey, here are the best two. These two are so awesome because of this and because of that. And they're this kind of return. And I promise you, if you show your significant other that you've looked at hundreds of properties and you know exactly why these two are the best deals, what I call great deals, not average, not bad, not even good, but great, you will be able to help them understand that you have done your homework, you are ready to go, you are not flying by the seat of your pants, but yet you have done the homework and you are ready to go to the next step. In the end, if you want to get your significant other on board, you want to do the work, you want to understand what doing 20 minutes a day is, like all my other students, the course is called How to Get Started, One Rental at a Time. The link is available below. In that, you will be sharing weekly with your spouse at the end of 30, 60, or 90 days. You're going to tell them what great deals are. And trust me, they're going to get behind you. This is, course is going to stay $199 because I want you, uh, I, it needs to cost something to cover my costs. But more importantly, I want to have it cheap so everybody can get behind it. And if you buy it, make sure you join the Facebook group so we can talk every Saturday. So in the end, if you are going to get your significant other on board, listen, don't push, do your homework like I outlined in the course, buy the course, do the homework, educate them, show your work, and then ultimately call out what the great deals are. And again, if you get the course for 200 bucks, make sure you join the YouTube group. I'm sorry, the Facebook group, Facebook group, because every Saturday we will get on mentoring cars, calls at 9 a.m. Pacific right in the Facebook group. We just do a Facebook Live and you or your spouse can ask any question you would like. All right, everybody, take care of yourself. Have a great day.